plaintiff, Charlotte Dowdy, was married to the defendant, and they have two sons together. Charlotte claims after the divorce, she and the defendant shared custody of their sons, but the defendant restricted her access to the children because he wanted full custody. She's suing her ex for an income tax refund and attorney fees. Defendant Robert Turner says the reason he and Charlotte divorced is because she started acting like a 20-year-old by partying, cheating, and getting a nose ring. Robert claims after the divorce, Charlotte moved out of state and abandoned their children. And he's countersuing for child support. Start with you. Uh, Robert and I were married in 2003. We have two boys together, 12 and 14. Um, being married to him basically was like being married to a child. And I finally had enough um, in 2000. Why so? How so? Mm -hmm. He has the mental capacity of a 14-year-old. Um, after our divorce, he, he showed me how immature he really was by withholding uh, visitation of our kids. He went, refused to let me have access to our kids to the extent or the only way I could see them was to go have lunch with them at school. Um, Why did he, what reasons? I believe it was because he, we had joint custody. We had 50-50 mm -hmm. custody and he wanted full custody of the boys. So the only way that I would be able to see them according to him because there was a temporary restraining order is what I was being told, which was never the case. Uh, he basically told me that I wouldn't be able to see the kids unless I signed over full custody to them and agreed to pay child support. Okay. So you played games with the kids? No, sir, I'm not. You didn't put your children in the middle of you and your wife's mess, did you? No, sir, I never told her. I never kept the kids from her, ever. That is such a lie. All right, you, why don't you give me some background on the marriage? Well, um, she decided that uh, she wanted to be a 20-year-old, wanted to go out and get parties, she cheated, she got nose rings. Um, when did all this begin? Or when did you begin discovering it? Um, 2012, 2013. Uh, she started- she was all right for the first nine years? Everything was, yeah, everything was fine for the first nine years. Um, what I was do you think happened? What do you think sent her off? The kids, Pretty much fitted for themselves, anyways. I was that a sole provider. A I that was on the rig on for numerous occasions and told you what the problem was. And if things didn't change, no, why did I was going to leave? You're, you're you all did liar. all this in front of the other judge. You know, I'm not going to keep doing this in front of every judge you get to. You already got a divorce. Then you do all this in front of that judge, yell and lie on each other about what happened. <laughs> uh, I'll listen to it again. What's your lie? <laughs> <laughs> oh. It is interesting. <laughs> all right, let's get it over. Let's get it last time, all right? All right. Now, y'all going to Now, what's your lie about what happened? I don't have any lies. Okay, I, what's I just your have truth? Facts. Um, gonna call I wasn't happy. Lie. told him numerous times I wasn't happy. Why? What? Did you tell because, him why? Exactly. I did tell him why. I did tell him why. Anyways, uh, you know, enough was enough. Made no the job sense. hopping was the last straw, so I filed for divorce. You say you all broke up because you discovered she was cheating and she was partying the last three years of your marriage? Yes, sir. And that was a little more much yes, for sir. you? And um, since that time, she says you've played games with the children and you say you have not? No, sir, I have not. How often we had... do they see her? How, how many times have you told her they're unavailable? That's usually what happens. When um, I had plans or when you go, I week. knew that. That's what they do. No, she was sir. supposed to have been there at 145, Judge, and it was 146. So, yeah, I locked her out and wouldn't let her and told her to stop calling here. Yeah, Judge, yeah. No, Your Honor. Um, <laughs> she is supposed to pick him up, for instance, at five. I told you. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Uh, two, no, hold on. Five. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Then she show up at like nine. We still let her see her. We never withheld those children from her for seeing him, her. I had my mother <laughs> with me when your wife slammed the door in my face and told me there was a restraining order against me, which was a freaking lie. Did you all that have was, to get a restraining order? Against that was during you? when we were having to um, divorce. No, this is after the divorce when we're having to change custody because she decided to up and abandon the kids and move I to never Alabama. I abandoned my kids. I moved out of state because I lost my job. You moved and my three husband, different states. My husband was offered a job First, you moved state. to Alabama. Then you moved, never saw the kids for like two months. Then you moved to South Carolina after your lease was up in Alabama. 
Then you move to South Carolina. Then you move back to Texas the to Keller ever went for less than 10 months. months. Then you move back to Nashville, and that's where you're Carolina. at now, and you still don't see you're them regularly. Things up I have never true. stopped you from seeing those that's children. That's a lie. Ever. And I, I had my mom as a witness when your wife slammed the door in my face and told me that I could not see the boys, that there was a restraining order. There that was, was never That was a according to our order. judge, our attorney. I'm sorry, oh, not judge, our attorney. It was a attorney. lie. Regardless, I checked with the court. All right, ma'am, he used the term abandon your children. Do you want to uh, give some insight as to why you left without them? Because we had 50-50 custody. He had them a week and I had them a week. When I lost my job okay. and my husband was offered a job out of state, mm -hmm. we had to move. I didn't take the children with me because, number one, I knew he would never willingly allow it, and I was not about to drag my kids through a custody battle. I've been there and done that with my parents, and I won't do that to my children. Secondly, my kids were in the same school that they had been in since kindergarten, and him and his wife moved into that same subdivision. I was trying to put my kids first. I didn't want to rip them out of the, the school they had been in. Got it. And okay, understandable. How does he owe you for an income tax refund? It was uh, a tax return that, because of his numerous jobs in 2012, he didn't report all of his income on that tax return. You filed those. So you didn't. You knowingly did with not. The you file provided that. me with the document. You filed those. And you left you did not do that. Out. You checked the mail. Anyway, you got all the tax forms. You did not that, file them. There was a tax bill yeah, that was. Yeah, why, sir? You all be quiet debating about who's going to go to jail. Go ahead. There was a tax debt. <laughs> y'all <laughs> submitted tax... fraudulent information, and now y'all want to get on here and point at each other because you know somebody might go to jail. The Fed see this. Go ahead. <laughs> there was a tax debt that was owed because of his. There was what? There was a tax debt that was owed due to some of his W 2s being left off. That she filed. So after our divorce, divorce was final. I filed my tax return before he did, and the IRS took the entire tax debt that was owed for him from my tax return. I contacted him about it. He basically said, oh, well, not my problem. So I filed the innocent spouse form with the IRS and was granted innocent spouse relief. That. That's important. And I also filed a dispute with the IRS. What did they that. tell you? She got what they told her. Well, they... I don't know. They have never got back to me, and I haven't received well, a letter they back. They got from back me. to her. Yeah, I know. And they say we granted you full relief of the debt under separation of liability, IRS section 6015C. You'll no longer be responsible for the amount owed on the account. However, we're not going to give you money back. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. That's what they said. However, refunds aren't allowed for any payments made toward the understated tax. And did you make those uh, payments? It came, they deducted it from my tax return. Okay, that's how much? Uh, it was a total of $4,267.65. Okay, and what was the other 500 for you suing for? I, I tried to resolve this like adults between the two of us, and I told him that if we couldn't resolve it between the two of us, that I would sue him in small claims court. That's what it came down to, and I had to, I secured the services of an attorney just to go to small claims court and argue the case with me. So the five hundred dollars was to retain her services. Yeah, the lawyer didn't go to small claims and argue it with you, though. Right, because we came to Judge Mathis instead. Okay, so but you gave her the five hundred. Right, it was and a non-refundable. She won't give it back to you. Right. Well, nobody give your money back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He words won't. on the street. <laughs> Your word on the street. Yeah. <laughs> they don't have to pay her back. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, well, so what are you telling me? That debt, that was a joint tax return mm -hmm. that was filed for me and her while we were married. That is a joint debt mm -hmm. that we owed. Yep. She knowingly did not file some of my W-2s. She always filed our taxes for us, and she knowingly did that so we could get a larger tax return. I was unaware that she had done that, and then the IRS came back and said that we owe this amount back. All right. So she knowingly did this. It's, it's, it's on her. Well, did both of you sign the returns? No, she signed my name. I most certainly did not. We yeah. both did, because I was in the oil field mm -hmm. and I was not home. Your counterclaim for back child support, how does she owe you? Um, through the years, she um, she owes me $6,441 in back child support. From what years? Uh, this is actually over, I think, two years. Let's see it, please. What do you say to this, ma'am? 
I, I totally agree. I, what I try, how I tried to resolve this before I had no other option but small claims court was to get him to write off the amount of the IRS debt and put that, apply that towards the arrearage on the child support. That's how I wanted to resolve it. Okay. He refused. I have an email where I even sent him the paperwork all filled out. All he literally had to do was notarize it and send it to the attorney general's office, and he refused to do that. So I had no other resolution but the small claims court. I have so no it sounds problem. like you could have gotten your money had you not um, gotten so messy with the personal stuff. The IRS says that she is not responsible for because they made their decision. And I don't well, play with them. You can play yeah. with them if you want to. Good luck with that. <laughs> well, the reason... I'm not playing with the IRS. In fact, we're going to stop talking about them. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm nice to them. I don't want nothing well, the reason to be I... said bad about them. They're the good reason... people. Good people. <laughs> They're good people, yes. <laughs> <laughs> what else, sir? The reason I, I did not give her half of which is at most I should owe her for that IRS taxes mm -hmm. is because um, she has numerous, while we were married, as joint debt, numerous things that she piled up in my name and I feel she'd be happy. She was the first you know, time you got married? She was my second. Okay. Hopefully you'll learn the third time that your wife's gonna spend a lot of money behind your back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she might tell you when she come home, or you'll see it when you come home, but I got news for you. That's how that goes. And you'll be lucky if she give you something. She give you any, your current wife? No. Okay, well me and you <laughs> in the same boat. <laughs> yeah, you, don't get, you don't get any money, neither do I. All right. But I embezzle mine. You don't know how to embezzle? <laughs> The IRS right, might be listening. Okay. Yeah. All right, I shouldn't have said that either. <laughs> <laughs> have a good day. Judgment for the plaintiff and the defendant. Yeah, I hope we can work it out. I'm um, just sorry I had to come to this. I wish we could have both been adults and worked it out between the two of us, but I think it was a fair resolution.